Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Laura Shu. I'm back, y'all. What's goody? So, let's get back into another piece from the Book of Self. But before we get into this, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. I'm Laura Shu. Please leave a comment after the end of this video. Like this video and also subscribe to the channel so I know you're rocking with me. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, family. Like I always say, it's good to see you. What's goody? Global communications. Today we're gonna to talk about global communications and how to become a global citizen. How to use communication to become a global citizen. Before you even get into starting projects, before you get into creating for the people ideas from your mind, first things first is you gotta understand the world. You gotta understand people, humans. What makes people tick? You gotta understand them on a basic level, a caveman level. Understand what is underneath all of the glitz and the glamour of all the new stuff that's coming to our, our uh, world in the, in the newer times, you know, in the last a thousand years. And just kind of simply revert back to caveman times. What would, if, if we were in caveman times, that's how I think about everything. What would people be doing right now if we were in caveman times? We will all be working towards getting resources. We will all be protecting our territories. We will all be hunting, gathering food so that at the end of the day, we can have our feast and come together as a community and build. So if that's the case, right? If, if this is what the world is still technically doing, you know, just in a modernized way, how can you be a integral part in all of that? How can you be the centerpiece of all of this culture that takes place every single day with all the different tribes and all the different cities and towns and countries? How can you be an integral part to build the community up from where you are for the entire world? Some things here to think about. Where do you wanna be? Where do you see yourself in a few years? If you were in the world and could travel anywhere in the world, what would you be doing? You know, it takes someone to really know themselves to take that journey and, and veer off into the great unknown and want to help people in the process of that, all while making sure that they maintain in their life and making sure that their family knows that they're good, communications with others. The biggest thing for sure is making sure that you know where you want to go so that you know how to serve the people that you want to serve. You know, we want to try and help as many people as we can all over the world, but it really starts at home for me. So I would advise anyone who's thinking about becoming an international citizen, world traveler, to first know who they are on a very deep level because there's going to be many fears you'll have to face when you're traveling the world. So if you go to a random country and you just start acting like an American citizen, you know, complete disregard for that country's culture you know like uh, I, i'll give you an example if you go to germany and on a sunday you riding around in your rental car blasting little uzi vert on sunday the police are gonna get called on you so it takes knowing where you're going and what customs you know what i'm saying and if you can do the due diligence of learning some of the basic languages or the basics of a language so that when you're speaking to people in different countries, they at least feel like, hey, this guy's making an effort to appreciate my culture. He respects me enough to learn part of my culture. And he came to my country. That to, to other people in anywhere in the world, including America, we're real big on people coming into our country and speaking English. You know, it shows that you respect us enough to learn the language of the country. So knowing how to speak parts of their language and being proactive in that and also being proactive in learning the culture of the cities and countries that you're going to it puts you in a higher regard than the average tourist and because you might be a tourist now you already will have people who are, who will be more willing to show you around the places the places that you wouldn't normally see if you were just a tourist with complete disregard for culture and language so when if you're doing anything you want to have a higher advantage than your competition doesn't matter and life you life is almost like a competition and I, I know people don't like to hear that but if you're in business you're competing with somebody else who may have a better business than you if you in a college you're competing with somebody who may have better grades than you but the only real competition in your life is yourself and it starts with your fears 
So knowing yourself, you can get past those fears and be the best person for the world. Being a global citizen, being the one who can connect the dots for, for the overall of your country. Because if you have someone come from the United States, going to a European, Middle Eastern, wherever, and you set a good example, when people think about Americans later on, they're gonna say, hey, I had a great experience with an American. I had a great experience with a German. I had a great experience with a French person. Always think about that. You set an example for groups of people that you don't even know. So having that, that's that's part of building the power for yourself. Now that you have the, the higher regard from people in other countries and word of mouth will spread. The more people you know, the more people will talk about you. Because when you come to a new country and you start to do community projects, people will be more willing to partner with you. That's all for today's episode. I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave a comment. Let me know what part you liked about this video. Like this video, share it with someone you think it will help, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's Laura Shu. Holla!